heart attack you know is because of blockages that arise in the blood vessels to the heart when a complete block happens they may present us with a heart attack in early stages when the blocks are say 50 60 70 80% -80%, it might be that the patients may complain of symptoms you know when they exert themselves so when the heart requires more blood the you know the, the heart doesn't receive so much the, the extra blood that it requires because of the blockages so now as of now the standard one of the standard treatments that has evolved for these blockages in addition to medicines and a bypass surgery is an angioplasty year on year the number of you know patients undergoing angioplasties have been progressively increasing because of better awareness earlier detection and then increase in the prevalence because of lifestyle you know because of changes in in, in lifestyle so so what we do is an angioplasty angioplasty essentially means that a, a balloon is threaded onto a, a tiny wire to the location of the block and the balloon is inflated when the balloon is inflated whatever is the you know material that has come and grown into the in the walls into the lumen they get compressed again back onto the walls of the artery and thus you know form the open the lumen again so the blood can flow easily so in the in the beginning i think around 1983 84 when angioplasty was done initially it was only a plain a balloon angioplasty but then what was found that we after doing a plain balloon angioplasty this block had a very high chance of recurring almost 30% of patients or 40% of the patients would come back in about you know say a few months or to about 6 to 8 months again with recurrence of blockages or else during the procedure suddenly the block becomes complete because of certain complications we call it as occlusions and they were made there were emergency that would happen during the procedure to to tide over this one uh, uh, a, a, a stent was you know discovered or uh, invented and they started implanting these stents what is a stent a stent is a metal mesh something like a spring that we see in the in the you know in our ball pens but it's more of a metal mesh as such this is crimped onto a balloon a deflated balloon taken to the spot where the where the block is and when you inflate the balloon the metal mesh gets you know expanded and gets embedded in the wall of the artery and thus you know opening up the lumen now initially they were mainly stainless steel stents now with this they found that immediate complications were far lesser but it had not completely removed the chance of re-narrowing from about 25 to 30% it came down to about 15% then they tried different metals you know cobalt chromium alloys you know uh, nitinol stents so this was some other modification that happened did not make a major difference in re-narrowing then the idea of in by putting medic medicines inside the you know stent so that as the stent is embedded in the artery it would re release the you know, medicines which would prevent this regrowth of the narrowing and this is called as drug eluting stents this had a major impact in reducing the long term narrowing in these in, in these you know uh, blood vessels so nowadays most commonly we use what is called drug eluting stents the platform could be same could either be a stainless steel platform cobalt chromium platinum platinum chromium these are all the different metal alloys and metals that have been used in making stents and also impregnating them with you know these um, medicines so this is the concept of drug eluting stents now of late they they also have come out with called absorbable stents so instead of metal they use certain you know uh, uh, material like something called plaa polylactic amino acid so these things these stents generally get dissolved over a period of time so maybe 3 years down the line the artery would not have any stent at all of course the initial stent that were available in the market did have its problems so what but we think that the future will definitely be maybe 5 10 years from now i'm sure probably these absorbable stents may have a large role to play so stents so angioplasty has evolved with a plain balloon angioplasty bare metal stent angioplasties drug eluting stent angioplasties and maybe the future may hold you know absorbable stents also so this is what we mean by the utility of stents in the role i mean in in angioplasty and this is how we are able to get better outcomes by using these stents during our angioplasty procedure thank you